just joining us, my special guest today is Dr. Kendra Pope, and she has her own integrative practice. So she is board certified in veterinary oncology, and she does, what don't you do? You do acupuncture, you do um, we do herbal herbals. medicine. You said yep. you, you work with Reiki. Yep, um, we have a massage therapist that comes in, nutrition. So for our listening audience, Kendra, can you just talk about what integrative medicine is? Yeah, sure. And um, I'd love to. And, you know, these modalities are being used in my patients. Um, a large portion are cancer patients because because of, you know, my oncology training. But, it, you know, you'll see, obviously, as I explained, kind of what integrative medicine is and the modalities behind it, about why it would work for any patient, either with any chronic disease or just patients that are seeking wellness. The owners, you know, are interested in wellness for their pets. So um, terms that are more common to uh, pet owners are things like holistic medicine, um, complementary or alternative medicine. Those are all words that um, have been around a long time, have been used a lot, and often can be interchangeable. But this word integrative medicine has really been developed uh, originally in physician-based medicine um, to distinguish the use of these complementary and alternative modalities, not as an alternative to or in placement of, but alongside and in conjunction with. Um, it's also meant to be very personalized. So um, every case is different and every case uses different tools. And it's also meant to be very collaborative. So, you know, it's not just the holistic vet or just the conventional vet. It's there's all the members of the team. Um, and it's also really meant to be evidence-based when possible. So, you know, as a Western culture and as a Western doctor, you know, we are all trained to question everything and to make sure that the evidence is present before we recommend treatment. Any uh, veterinarian, doctor, any of us know that a lot of our clinical practice, unfortunately, that's just not reality. It gets us to a point and then um, the rest of it is very educated and formed decisions based on our clinical experience. Um, and so oftentimes, even in my specialty of oncology, that's the reality. You know, we're limited to a certain point in what we know. And then what we do there on is based on our clinical judgment. And so an integrative approach is really meant to be that. It's informed by evidence when possible. It's always collaborative. It's personalized. And kind of my favorite principle of integrative medicine is that the practitioner embraces these modalities in their life all the time. And so I have to walk the walk. I can't just talk the talk. And I really like that. <laughs> There's some accountability for me as a practitioner that are providing these healing modalities to not sabotage myself and to enforce some self-care. And so um, that, I think, is probably my favorite piece about it. <laughs> okay, well, let, let's go into that. So, so, so do you actually do acupuncture on yourself? Yeah. So, um, you know, it's interesting because as you start to learn about these different modalities, and since I was on the show last time, I actually started training in Western herbal medicine, which is really fascinating because they're the herbs that we're most familiar with, you know, as a Western culture. They're things like turmeric and milk thistle and ginger and echinacea. And so they're the ones that we're like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I know about those. They're also used more often as single herbs than as formulas, like Chinese medicine is. So um, my medicine cabinet has turned into an apothecary. <laughs> when I get a cold, there's lots of teas and tinctures. Um, when I'm not feeling well or when I'm stressed, there's practices like meditation or yoga. And so it does, you know, it, 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 it forces you to recognize that, um, your body was created to do a lot of things itself. And so um, sometimes you need that medication, that antibiotic, that pain reliever, or whatever. And other times you can be like, oh, okay, my body's warning me. You need to slow down. You're doing too much or you're pushing too hard or you're running too often and not giving yourself a break. And so um, that part about just being having a little bit of more awareness, um, I think is good for all of us. And do, do you have a neti pot? Yeah. <laughs> I do. Saline nasal sprays. Absolutely. Yes. They're great. <laughs> They're disgusting, but they work. I, I don't have the guts to use that yet. Uh, I don't have the guts. They make like the, um, the like super powered saline ones. You can start with those instead. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's like, it's so funny. I had to ask yeah. that question, but I knew, yeah. the, answer, I knew the answer. Yeah. You know, I'd have, I'd have one. Absolutely.